What's going on guys? It is Wiles Dragon DSG here and welcome to the season finale. Of course the season is now over. So this is more of a recap before we jump into season 3 with Blackman Rovers. It is official I will be going with Blackman Rovers in season 3 just so you know. So we are going to be doing another season because we are qualified for the Champions Cup. So I want to try and put some effort into that see if we can win it. Um, I think it's a bit more of a far ass for us if we end up winning. I don't think we will, but obviously ambition is key, guys. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a full recap of the Italian season and seeing how we've done throughout the full training, the youth development, um, the team that we got lined up, the plans for the future, and also there's going to be an award for different categories this season so that'll be coming after this little recap to the end of the season so make sure you stay tuned for that um it's gonna be an absolute crack it's gonna be like young player most improved most unexpected that type of stuff but anyway you might notice i'm down in the bottom right today because i keep blocking because we're top of the league all the time i keep blocking the top so i put myself down in the bottom um but as you can see now blackman rovers won the league on goal difference, by a total of five goal difference off Spurs, but just one point behind was Chelsea in third. And then, of course, we have West Ham with 66 points, Man City with 65, Leicester with 65, and Everton with 63. So it's a very close game, to be honest. Very, very close season until the final episode. The last three games of this season in the Premier League proven to be vital. We were losing, we was up and down, literally until... We played the final three games, which was against Liverpool, um, West Ham, and also Everton. Crucial games that we won. Everton, we won 3-1. Liverpool, we won, and we beat Swansea. For example, we were drawn against Nottingham Forest. We literally lost against Stoke. We lost against Hull as well. But to be fair, we did play a weaker side out. But we was beating Man City previously. We lost uh, um, Southampton. So, <laughs> up and down results. So, not exactly how we wanted it to go. It wasn't uh, perfect, but hey-ho. What are you going to do with that? But anyway, as you see there, prize money from the FA Cup was 101.4 million. But the Premier League prize money for winning it was 125,606,662 pounds. Oh my God, we have got some money there. Um, so we've done pretty well there. We've increased quite a lot. We'll have a quick look at our financials and stuff as well. But what I'm going to be doing as well... This year, with the players that we are going to be signing, we are going to try and aim for players which are not, I, I say realistic, with Blackman Rovers, we've won the Premier League, this is not realistic, but I mean, a realistic for a team that was in that position, so I don't want to be going buying young players which have potential in the future. We have a hundred odd million to spend, we'll find out in a few moments how much we do have exactly to spend, but I want to sign players like, um... Who can I suggest? For example, like Lalana from Liverpool. Players like this who are kind of well established in the Premier League. Half decent players and they can easily sort into our side. Like I want some players over 80 rated now that we can bring in. Because our aim is to make three sides which are completely solid. So we want to be improving our centre-back this year. We are going to be improving our CDM. We're going to be improving our camp position. So we are sorting out the complete spine. I think our left-back, Oxford... And also our right back are completely sorted. I think our right mid is fine. Our left mid is kind of, uh, it's there. But with more kind of rotating between the left and the right mid, we're fine. Um, we're probably going to sell Burt. We're going to sell quite a lot of players. We're going to be sorting all that out next episode. The selling of players and the buying of players. But we will have kind of a, not even a short list. We'll do all that next episode. Because um, I want to kind of recap there. But we are going to be doing that. So, And there's also talk that Abraham will leave as well. So we'll see. But anyway, so we've done quite well. Our youth, we've done pretty amazing. We've signed three players, signed two players under the age of 20 with potential greater than their average overall, and also signed a player from the Youth Academy, which is good. Within three seasons, increased the season ticket holders by at least 10%. We're very close to that, so I think we'll be able to do that very, very soon. Um, our funds, we had to finish on 2.5 million. We haven't met that target, so... Maybe we'll get that when they give us more funds, but we haven't sold anyone. We have stuck to a, quite a lot of players, so we'll have to take that in consideration. But as you see there, short term, avoid the primary uh, relegation. Reach the final. We reached the final of the FA Cup, but unfortunately we didn't win it. 
But within two seasons finish mid table, we've already done that. So it'll be interesting to see how these tactics will change. So in total of how many we have, we've only missed two targets, uh, which is not to complain. Um, but I think I want to do better in Europe next year. We didn't do too well, but that's what I mean. I want us to buy a lot of players. So we look at our first team. Like, Henrix is coming into the first team now. Um, Mulgu's going to be dropped. Garner's going to the second team. Moore's coming more in over Arnold, but Arnold's a very, very good player. He's going to be 80 odd rated this season, probably. A lot of telly as well. He's good, but I don't think he's first team there anymore because Jack Burns bent. I'm going to be switching those two around for the time being. Um, and then we're going to be putting Jack Burns potentially. He might go out on loan. He might be sold. But I want to, my first and second team, I want to be very, very strong. So the likes of Mulgrew being our second team. John's there, Breeze there. At the moment, we've got Arnold and Moore there. McCartan's there. Very, very strong team. But Abraham might leave. Lot of Terry's going to be dropped. Garner's going to be dropped. So our second team's getting even more stronger when we sign even better players. So guys, suggest um, a centre-back, uh, a CDM, and a tight midfielder. And I don't care if they over 80 rated. I do not want... Um, Young players, which potentially could be really good. I want players which are going to cost me around 15, 20 million. And they are around 80 odd rate. I don't mind being 25. I don't mind being 30. I really don't mind. That's what we want to do this season. We want to create a solid, uh, established team within our lineup. That's one of the big things I really want to do. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the top goal scores and stuff like that. We ended up finishing with nobody in the top 15. Jordan Rhodes ended up getting nine. Our top goal scorer was Lottatelli and Abraham, both on nine goals. Um, even though Lottatelli, of course, I shouldn't really be dropping him, but he can fight for his place in second. Uh, what will happen is, is that even though a lot of players such as Lottatelli, Gardner, will be dropped into the second team, we have so many games next season, FA Cup, League Cup, Champions Cup, um, the Premier League. That's four competitions all going on at one given time. We need at least three sides. We're going to have one very weak side. we got a second team, which is near enough solid, which fought in the Premier League this season near enough. And then we've got a first team, which we're going to improve this season. And then, of course, we've got our youth side as well, which we will be trying to establish more next season. So I don't, take, don't mind not winning the Premier League. I just want to get Champions League football next season. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But anyway, we didn't finish there. Top goal scores assists. Lot of Teddy was up there with eight, which is solid. Abraham was up there with seven, which is nice. Have we got anyone else up there at all? We do have Garner as well with five. So a lot of these players are all going to be changing. Savar, our main goalkeeper for the season with 17 clean sheets, which is an absolute solid performance from him. So you cannot complain. No one else in our lineup for there. No, not many yellow cards of the Mulgrew. And uh, Mulgrew is up there with the one uh, red card as well this season. Anyway, it's looking pretty good for us, so we cannot complain. It's gone very, very well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to advance forward, see if any more emails and stuff comes forward. I'm going to talk about what type of players I want to sign. So with the camp position, I need someone who's a good free kick taker, very solid passer, um, and also pretty uh, good on the ball. Right, okay, so let's have a sort this out. Tomlinson, I think you can go, not too bothered. Um, Nagby, I really want him in my team. I'm going to offer him a future first team player and we'll see what he does. We'll offer him his exact amount that he wants. He's still a young, young player. He's a very good player. Um, Moroni, I really need him in my side. He's developing really well. He wants five grand. And what I'm going to offer him is uh, this one, a Sprod... Spur oh, I ain't going to try to pronounce it, if I'm truthfully honest. If I took my time and been like, right, I'm going to try and pronounce it, <laughs> we'll do pretty well. But I just don't want to... I'm trying to get through a live commentary. It's always a pain. Uh, we're going to keep Raya as well um, because I don't particularly want to get rid of him. We're not a squad rotation player at the moment. That's how he is. He's never first team. And we got a few players' contracts going to be running out next season. For example, Charlie Mulgrew, he's probably going to retire. Bell as well. A lot of these players are going to be going out on loan. Tom and Son, I don't want to sign. But uh, Mahoney, uh, Mahoney, I think it is even. 70 rated, very good player. One of our highest rated players. We've, put him, we've been putting him out on loan. We have been putting him out on loan. He's done very, very well out on loan. So when he comes back, hopefully he can slot into our side. I think we'll start playing him more. Uh, declined. Oh, you want to right? He wants a bigger role at the club. Let's have a look. 
Let's offer him. He wants to be more of a squad rotation player. Let's offer him a squad rotation player. And we'll. Um, he's definitely going to be on our lineup. He's going to be more of a third player. And I'm going to start offloading quite a lot of players now, if I'm truthfully honest. So we'll see quite like of Emmanuel go. We'll pr try and bring a few uh, younger players in. Here we go. We've got a youth squad report. Very good player. Wow. Wow. He's looking pretty good. 94, 89. Not many players I kind of want to. Sign at the moment. I just want to let him develop in our T in our uh, what do you call it? You're 18 years old. I could get you and loan you out. You could be very good. A lot of people are gonna want you. A lot of people are gonna want you. Uh, we're gonna need to release a few players, so we won't be signing any more youth players just yet. Uh, scout report for the end of the season 91. Uh, what position are you? You're more of a, a striker, which is kind of nice. I think that's centre backs actually, uh, and the rest. Oh, 93. That looks pretty solid there. So we'll end up signing these two players. And we'll end up... Our youth, oh, our youth squad's now currently full. So we, we have to offload in a few youth squad players. Um, we got a few more emails, actually, um, coming in. Mark said, was next transfer window? Not being involved with the team. We're going to loan him out. Hendrix, not being selected. So what's the point in the next fed up? Oliver Burke. Okay, so what we're going to do before any of these actually kick off which is what I will always tend to do is that I will put them on the loan list, basically. So if I have a quick look, Henrik's going to put on loan, but he's coming to a fit. He will be a first team player. That's the thing. He's going to be a first team player very, very soon. It's just that at the moment he, he's not. He's literally going to be brought in this season. Um, and also there was Edwards as well. I don't particularly want to lose. We're going to put on a year loan contract. Um, we're also going to be selling, I think I'm going to sell uh, Burke. Uh, we, we, we could sell him for quite a decent amount. So I'm tempted to loan him out for the time being and put him on a one-year loan. We're going to see what he does and we'll see what will happen from there. Um, but we've got quite a lot of players that we want to get rid of. So when next season, next episode, which will be season, uh, season three, episode one, We'll end up sorting all this out. I don't want to be too too much now. I kind of just want a nice little recap. Wow. This point there that the offer. He won a higher role. In all fairness, he does deserve a higher role. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to keep him. I'm definitely going to keep him. So, important first team player. Let's offer him a squad rotation player. And I'm going to offer him six grand. I want to keep him on the books. I do really want, really, really want to keep him on the books. So hopefully a squad rotation player, he will end up off a set thing like that. Um, but in the next episode, we will be putting a lot of players up for sale. Declan John wants to discuss his wages. Oh, he wants an important first team role. Great. Um, right, so we're going to have to offer that. We're going to have to offer him important and go offer him six grand wage as well. Um, I'm going to load him out straight away just to be safe. Where actually, I'm gonna leave him in a team. I'll put him up on the loan system straight away. I'll put him up on loan, but we'll see uh, what will happen with him. Declan John wants to discuss his wages, and uh, so a lot of negotiation and stuff going on now. Come the end of the season, there you go. Connor has accepted the um, contract that we have offered for him, uh, which is quite a big, big contract. Um, he's been accepted, which is quite good. So what I'm gonna do straight away. Because people are going to snap him up without a doubt. Uh, I'm going to put him up on loan. So, if I have a quick look. Uh, we've got a lot of players. Of oh, 450 grand. <coughs> I do apologise for coughing there. But uh, if I can just find him right now. I should have really done it by a position. He's currently on 6,000. Loaned out. Short, short term loan. We have off him a contract. He will be coming back this season. So he's currently on a Coventry. So he's done pretty well there. So we do another loan for him when he comes back. He'll be going straight away. I think a lot of this loan stuff is going to be happening next episode. Just because we'll be starting the new season. We can sell a lot of players. The players will be back from loan and all this type of stuff. Here we go. Let's have a quick read of our emails. Manager of the season award. Which is pretty sweet. Thank you Rebecca. Really appreciate it. But anyway, we're going to end the season there. And season review. We're delighted to have you stay at the club for next season. Which is pretty sweet. But anyway, you see there now we are going into next season. Season 3 is underway today. 
wow, this is 15 minute episode. I thought it was only going to be like 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes. But anyway, the episode's just gone live as well. But anyway, guys, so in the comment section below, this video's actually gone a little live earlier than normal. It's gone up at 7, a, uh, 7 p.m. So make sure uh, you uh, check out... Um, let me know in the comment section below, even I should say, what players we should consider signing a CDM, a centre-back. Um, we're going to be putting a lot of players for sale. So I want to make some big money signings. We're going to have a quick look at our transfer budget now for the new season when this comes along. So fingers crossed that it's going to be a big one. If it's going to be a big one, it's going to be brilliant for us. Everton and Liverpool have just kicked off. Uh, that's why my phone was buzzing there. But anyway... Let's uh, wait for this to do its thing, and we'll be jumping back. So, guys, this is season three. I'm going to do a few little things. Of course, I want to see how much money and stuff we've got. We oh, we're going to be doing this one. An extra four million will be lovely um, for the friendlies. A lot, to be honest, we're going to be simming quite a lot of them anyway. When we do do friendlies at the start of a season, we do end up simming it. Uh, but anyway, that's happening straight away. The European International Cup. Let's have a look. How much transfer budget do we have? How Venky's been nice. Where is my transfer budget? 14 million. Are you kidding me? We literally got 128 million for winning the Premier League. And we get 14 million pound budget. We literally can't sign anyone. Like... We're never going to be in debt. We're never actually going to be in debt. Like, honestly. That is ridiculous. I will happy enough to do another financial takeover. If that's what's got to be done. But that's phenomenal. Obviously, we're going to be loaning, let's selling a lot of players and stuff. We're going to be doing all this next season. Like, we, we'll sort that out another time. Um, next episode. But, honestly. Can't believe it. That's horrendous. That is horrendous. Honestly, I am so taking a picture of that, and it's going up on Twitter right now. But, guys, that is the end of this episode. I am taking a picture of this now, and it is literally going up on my Twitter. Uh, I can't believe that. I literally can't believe that. I am tamping. Fuming, tamping, raging. There's no other way to put it. Oh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at that screen. I'm looking at this screen, and it's... Oh, my God. It's 100. It's 100 million pounds short. It wasn't exactly like... We didn't have any budget. Like, we was in negative. We had to watch our wages or anything. We have a total of a weekly 85 grand wage. That's literally it. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. Unbelievable, Jeff. But anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you all did enjoy this opening episode. It was a big one. Uh, end of recap even. Tomorrow, there is going to be an opening episode. I'm going to shortlist some players. Of course, this episode was a little earlier than normal because I want you guys to suggest some players in the comment section below. I do apologize if I don't get to them straight away in the next episode. But, of course, it's usually... It's not the next episode. It's always the episode after that I address the comments from the previous two episodes. It's usually <laughs> down those lines how it works. But anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Check out Loot Crate, guys. Use my discount code WDSG. And, of course, check out Sort of Stars uh, Shop. they got a brand new kit range up on there. So go check them out. It'll be pretty amazing. Make sure you go check them out. And I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitter while showing you street. And I'll see you next time. Unfortunately, I'm not £128 million richer off. Bye-bye. Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B Sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right in